is my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Woo! Come and quench the stars in my soul. Breath from heaven, feed me till. You ought to tell him, say, here's my cup, fill it up, and make me whole. Somebody lift your hands. God, fill us again in your presence. Come on. Lift your hands and ask him, fill me again in your presence. Come on. Somebody ask him, fill me with more of your power, more of your strength, more of your joy. That's what I sense in the room. Somebody just tell Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, amen. The presence of the Lord is so strong in my heart and in my life. Just day one and I feel God's presence. Welcome officially today to five days with my father. That's what we are engaging, five days with my father. Amen. Spirit of the Lord, we thank you for such a strength that comes as we wait upon the Lord. We thank you for such a spiritual awakening that is coming. We thank you that extra strength is coming. We feel that you are kind of bringing us closer closer to yourself we feel that you are lifting us up from places that we were and we want to honor you for that in the name of jesus oh god we are grateful oh god we are thankful oh god we want you oh god we want to spend time with you we want to fellowship with you we want to say with paul that i may know him and also enjoy the fellowship of his suffering father we want to spend time with you we love you because you first loved us we give you glory and honor we are so grateful for the time that we are spending with you and it's amazing how much we become like you when we spend time with you our day second our day two with you is sweeter than day one we know that it's going to get better by day in jesus mighty name amen child of god i greet you in the name of our lord jesus christ it's just a joy to spend five days with god with you amen i know something's happening um so spiritually, I feel really good on the inside. You know, I, I, I have a fasting lifestyle. And so um, every week I'm in a fast. But I realize this is not the same because the, God has kind of gripped me in a way that uh, he, he doesn't even want to release me to break when it's 6 p.m. And so something is about to break through. Amen. I sense strength that is coming upon our lives. And so I want to thank God for your life. Praise God. So this is day number two. And our day one, we said, Father God, lift me up. Amen. And so I'm going to run quickly to day two, which is Lord, fill me up. Amen. That's what we began with a, a cry of uh, worship that says that fill my cup, Lord. Amen. And so let's run quickly to the assignment today and pray 
and 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 enjoy our, our father a lot more today amen amen this journey is going to change your life praise god this journey is going to change your life so day number two father god fill me up psalm number 81 verse 10 the, the psalmist says now i am i mean i mean the bible says now i am the lord your god who brought you out of egypt open your mouth and i will f- feed you somebody say amen i am the lord your god who brought you out of egypt open your mouth and i will feed you other translations say, open your mouth wide and i will fill it amen open your mouth wide and i will fill it so um when you consider a verse like this you realize that god is so good that this verse fits into our time with him so perfectly because when you look at what we are doing today we are asking god to fill us up and the scripture says god will only fill you after he has lifted you because you realize that yesterday we were in egypt where we're talking about the, the location where we were in in on, on we were in wrong places we were in captivity we were in places that we didn't like we we're in places we we're in locations and addresses that were contrary to the will of god for our lives and you notice that based on this verse anytime god delivers you he fills you up hallelujah he says i am the lord that brought you out of egypt i am the lord that brought you out of day one that i picked you and those of you that really sought god yesterday he picked us from places that we were and when he picks you up he fills you up oh jesus we serve a god that when he picks you up he fills you up we serve a god when he picks you up he fills you up i said we serve a god when he picks you up he fills you up we serve a god when he picks you up he fills you up we serve a god when he picks you up he fills you up and so i want you to know that god will not pick you and not fill you he picks oh jesus christ the first day of creation scripture says god picked up adam and filled him with the holy spirit and Adam began to speak and god God has been in the business of picking up and filling up. And so I believe today God is going to fill you up. Hallelujah. God is going to fill you up. Praise God. I am the Lord that delivered you out of Egypt. Open your mouth wide and I will fill it up. Open your mouth wide and I will fill it up. Day number two, we are spending time with God asking God to fill us up. Hallelujah. Now, um, as, as usual, we're going to, I'm going to explain the Bible first and uh, give you the prayer points and then we are going to pray together. But I want you to understand what is happening here. The first thing is that you cannot be filled up unless you have been picked up. And I pray that yesterday you spent time with God and then he picked you up. Now, the scripture says that I am the Lord that, that, that will fill you up. But there is something I want to show you. Always something. Always something. It says now, uh, open up your mouth and I'll fill it up. And so I want want to deal with open up your mouth the word open up your mouth represent the fact that god 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 is only interested in those who want more of him i don't want to discourage you but god don't beg people oh jesus god don't beg people jesus came to die jesus will do everything for you but he will not beg you the bible says now therefore seek knock and ask that means that the kingdom of god is not by force that means that as we are spending time with daddy you will realize that you can spend time with god and you will not be blessed at all you can spend time with god and not be filled at all i can spend 30 days talking about spending time with god and not getting nothing but the bible makes it understand that if you're going to get anything from god you have to ask god if you're going to get anything so here he says that open up your mouth and i'll fill it so so long as your mouth is closed you won't get nothing if oh the word open up your mouth means pray the word open up your mouth means praise the word open up your mouth means shout the word open up your mouth means speak the word open in other words open up your mouth and i will fill it up and i want you to understand how significant that is that the the the, the prerequisite to getting filled from god is an opening up your heart open up your mind and open up for god to fill you up so it is extremely important that you understand that if you don't open up your mouth god cannot fill it up Throughout the whole scripture, you can't get anything from God unless you open up. 
The Holy Spirit is the best thing that ever happened to man. But it says, make sure you go to the upper room and wait and tarry for the Holy Spirit. Once upon a time, there were two brothers. You will be shocked after I tell you this story. There were two brothers in the Bible. Scripture says, one of them opened up his mouth and said, give me what I will get when you die. I can't wait for you to die. Give me what I will get when you die. Scripture says he took what he was supposed to get and went to a far country and wasted it and the bible says that he came to himself and said i'm in the wrong location i'm going to go home and the bible said when he got home they threw a party for him because he knows how to open his mouth he opened his mouth when he was home and when he was lost he opened his mouth the bible says another brother came who had never opened his mouth in the house before he was thinking that just being a child of god was what was going to get him blessed and so he was he has served his father faithfully but he never opened his mouth he never requested anything he never sought god for anything he was just in the house of God. And some of you, that's your life. You are a good girl. You are a good boy. But you have never opened up your mouth. And you've got to open up your mouth. It's your prayer life that determines your blessing life. It is not your holiness that determines your blessing. It's your prayer life that determines your blessing. And so scripture says that the elder brother came and said, Why am I not having a birthday party? Why am I not having an enjoyment? Why have I worked so hard in the kingdom of God and have done gotten anything? And the father said, oh son, all I have is yours, but you didn't open up your mouth, so I didn't do it for you. Ladies and gentlemen, God will never do anything unless somebody prays. And so I came to let you understand that today, as we seek after God, know therefore that by the opening up of your mouth is going to be equal to the filling up of the good things that is in God. So I came to charge you that the requirement for today is that you open up your mouth and pray. You open up your mouth and begin to talk to God. You open up your mouth and you begin to ask God, Father, fill me up. Fill me up. I'm going to do four things I want God to fill you up with and then we're going to do our last part is Thanksgiving. So number one, you want God on this second day to fill you up with himself. Oh God, Lord, that's up. Say, God, fill me up with yourself. There is a part of you that God must fill and one of the things that we don't teach at the church is the fact that you have to be ever filled with God, the 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 the, the, the part of you that needs God to fill that up it is a continuous thing you have to ever be filled with the holy spirit as we said so you want to pray today that god fill me up that's prayer point number one god fill me up with yourself i open up myself wide and the beauty of the prayer and the beauty of the five days with god is the fact that this five days you have opened up anybody is fasting it's an act of opening up for god to fill you up and i tell you they that wait upon the lord they shall renew yourself, but the the cardinal point, but the the, the 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 take home message is that throughout scripture you cannot get God to do anything for you if you close your mouth if you close your heart if you close your mind you can't get God to do anything for you God will not beg oh Jesus God will not beg you to say you need him God will not beg you to say that touch me the Bible says that and the man opened his mouth and said son of David have mercy upon me and the Bible said Jesus said call him for me have the man kept his mouth shut he would have been where he is all his life that's what the bible says they that thirst and hunger for righteousness they shall be filled god is not cheap even though he's free god is not cheap even though he is free he will never give himself to anybody who don't ask him that's what i told you yesterday anybody who don't need god god don't need you but anybody that needs god god already needed you before you needed him Yes, I want you to understand today on day number two, that's we are seeking God. Number one, he said, God, fill me with yourself. Fill me with yourself. When you are full of God, you'll be less of yourself. When you are full of God, you'll be less of your carnal self. When you are full of God, you when you are full of God, there is no place you cannot go. When you are full of God, there's no place you cannot go because you'll be you, you will have what it takes to go there. Hallelujah. So you want to pray the first prayer. The Lord, fill me up with yourself. It says, oh, I am the Lord who delivered you. Open up your mouth and I'll fill it up. Oh my God. How much open are you? What is your capacity for this five days? 
that we are spending we go what is your capacity how much do you want him how bad do you want him what's what kind of suspend what kind of what kind of capacity how much can you take how much of god can you take within this week hallelujah and so first point we are praying that god we ask in the name of jesus that you will fill up fill us up with yourself fill us up with yourself a sense of your shadowing and what i mean when i say fill us up with yourself i mean that you want to have a relationship with god where you you feel he fills you up on a regular basis that's your cry that i may have an intimate regular life with you that you will always fill me up and even as at now as i pray i want you to fill me up that's prayer point number one prayer point number two you want to say father fill me to the capacity fill me to the capacity amen the first one is that you i want god to fill me up one of the things that uh is important is how filled are you how filled to the full the songwriter says fill my cup lord i lift it up come and quench this thirst in my soul fill me till i want no more you want god to fill you fully hallelujah with himself because the most dangerous thing in the things of god is when you are halfway in god when you are filled but not fully filled when that happens you have a little bit of yourself and a little bit of god and that becomes a hypocritical life that becomes a double life so you won't say i surrender all fill me up completely hallelujah fill me up completely hallelujah in the name of jesus father fill us up with yourself and fill us completely that you, you we will reflect you that we will we will live like you that we will express you in our lives in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Father, fill us up with yourself in Jesus' mighty name. Fill us up with yourself. Number three, I want you to pay attention. This is very deep. You want God to fill you up with his purpose. Amen. Fill you up with his purpose. One of the things that I have to pause and explain is that even though all of us want God to make us like Jesus, all of us will not do the same thing when we look like Jesus. Amen. Let me say it again. Even though we want God to fill us up to be like Jesus, if you bring 10 people and they all look like Jesus, all the assignment will be different. So as much as we all want to reflect Christ, that is the purpose of you is to do your purpose looking like christ let me say it again the purpose of you is to be like christ doing your purpose you understand that so if we're a doctor you behave like jesus will behave if jesus was a doctor if you are a nurse you behave like jesus would have behaved if he was a nurse if you were a driver you behave like this you understand what i'm saying so even though we all look like jesus our assignment is different so when we say fill me with yourself it means that the character the quality of behavior that you are going to use to demonstrate your purpose when you are a singer and you are filled with christ you will sing like jesus sing with what preaching and you are filled with christ you will preach like jesus preached so basically being like jesus doesn't mean all of us are going to be preaching being like jesus doesn't mean all of us are going to be doing the same thing but whatever profession whatever calling whatever assignment on your life you will demonstrate integrity as jesus would do it amen and so the third thing which is very critical is that lord fill me up with my purpose fill me up with that which i am born to do fill me up with my assignment fill me up with that which you have called me i want you to know that you are called by god god will not create a person he doesn't have an assignment for you are called by god to do something on this earth and you won't got to fill you up with that that so that it become clear it becomes so clear that this is my purpose this is what god wants me to do i don't care your, your the life you live 
There is something God wants you to do. And I've lived to understand that it can be as simple as being a good wife. It can be as simple as being a good boy. It can be as simple as being a good co-worker. It can be as simple as being a good friend. It can be as simple as just praying for people. It's a, but it's, it's a big assignment. And I want you to pray that, Father, fill me up with my assignment. Let me tell you something. When you discover your assignment, you will do it till you die. You are, some of you are just an encourager. Some of you are just a person that helps people financially. Some of you are just a person that prays for people. Some of you are just a person that just laughs. You make people laugh. That's what you are called to do. Some of you are just a person that just, just motivates people. Some of you are just a person that lifts people with your voice. You are just a person that's able to kind of encourage people. You are a support. You are a person that gives support to people. You are an administrator. You have something that is your calling. And I pray in the name of Jesus that God will fill you up with your assignment. Polish it up. In-house training. In the name of Jesus, that shall be what you'll be filled up with in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Number four, you want God to fill you up with satisfaction. God, let me, let me, let me tell you a secret. It is not food that satisfies your stomach. It is God that satisfies your stomach with food. It is not sex that satisfies your sexual drive. It is God that uses sex to satisfy your sexual drive. It is not money that satisfies you financially. It is God that uses money to satisfy you financially. It is not your husband that makes you feel complete. It is God that makes you God is your is God that gives you that allows you to receive your husband to be complete. My point is that satisfaction that didn't come from the things that satisfy you. Once upon a time, Bible said God said, I'm going to Israel had disobeyed God, and God says, I'm going to give you food and send lameness in your soul. Oh Jesus, let me say He said, I'm going to give you food and send and send hunger. What do you do when you are eating and you are so hungry? What do you do when you have friends around you and you are so lonely? What do you do when your wife and your husband loves you, but you still feel, you don't feel loved? That means that it is not the thing you are eating that does the job, but it is God who has given grace to the thing to do that for you. So we are praying for satisfaction. When the satisfaction comes from God, every little thing will satisfy you. But if satisfaction doesn't come from God, you will get everything in the world and you will still not be satisfied because satisfaction comes from God. It's called the spirit of contentment. When it comes upon your soul, little is much. One, one, Just one thing is much for you. But if God does not give you that satisfaction, you will have everything in the world and you will still be miserable because satisfaction comes from God. And so after he fills you up with himself and he fills you up to the fullness, you want him to fill you up with purpose and fill you up with satisfaction. Let let me tell you about satisfaction. Satisfaction doesn't mean that you don't want more. Hallelujah. Satisfaction doesn't mean you don't want more. It means that you want more, but every time you get one, you are okay. Let me know. It didn't come out right. Let me say it again. When God gives you satisfaction, this is how it works. When the God blesses you with satisfaction, you will not rush in life, but you will grow in life. When God gives you satisfaction, you will not skip levels, but you will uh, ascend in levels. Let me take time because this last point is very important. Now, when God gives you satisfaction, let's say at this time you are at level one in life. You will be fully happy at level one. And when you go to level two, you will be fully happy. When you go to level three, you will be fully happy. When you go to level four, so every level you are, because God has given you satisfaction, you'll be fully happy and you also be promoted. But if you don't have satisfaction, you'll be at level one and you'll be unhappy, thinking that until I go to level two, I will not be happy. And so when God gives you satisfaction, you'll be happy at where you are and you'll be promoted also to the next level. So at every level, you are happy. You understand that? And that is what you call satisfaction. At every level in your life, you can say it is well with my soul because I am not happy because I'm going higher. I'm happy whatever level I am. That is called the spirit of contentment. So I want you to pray for that. That fill me up with satisfaction so that I will take my... So here's the thing. Any person who is single, 
and satisfied will be married and satisfied. Anybody who is single and satisfied will be married and satisfied. In other words, when you were single, you were happy. And so when you are married, you'll be happy. But any person who is single and not happy, that means that they have budget that when I get married, I'll be happy. But when they get married, they will say, then when I have a child, I'll be happy. When they have a child, they will say that when I have a male child, then I'll be happy. When I have a male child, he will say that then if I save this much, I'll be happy. You understand that? Because they don't have satisfaction. Satisfaction doesn't come from the thing. It comes from within, which comes from above. And so these are the four prayer points I want you to pray today throughout the whole day. Number one, Lord, fill me up with yourself. Number two, fill me to the full capacity. And number three, fill me with my purpose. And number four, satisfy me. Hallelujah. Satisfaction is of the Lord. Amen. Because it is not him that ran it or him that will it, but it's God that showed mercy. So I want you to pray for these four things. And lastly, of course, you pray for thanksgiving. Thanking, you, you cannot be with God and not thank him. So we will also pray for thanksgiving. So let me just pray all this four together and then release you and then we will go. Hallelujah. But don't forget to always stay in the atmosphere that God will place you in. If God say lie down, lie down. If God say stand, stand. Because I feel strongly that something supernatural is about to take place in our lives. So whatever God tells you, do it. So let's begin to lift up our voice in prayer. Spirit of the living God, I pray for myself and those you have placed under this platform. I lift up a prayer in the supernatural name of Jesus Christ that at this point to God, you will fill us up with yourself. Fill us up with your mind. Fill us up with your appetite. Fill us up with your with your things that break your heart. Let it break our heart. Fill us up with your identity. Fill us up with your, with your priority. Fill us up with your intentions. Fill us up. The Bible said for, for Moses, he knew my ways, but for Israel, they only knew my works. Father, we come that you fill us up with your ways, that we will know what you like, what you don't like, what you dislike. Father, fill us up in the name of Jesus. We lift up a prayer right now that you will fill us up to the full capacity. Anybody that has one talent, fill him up with one talent. Anybody that has two talents, fill them up with two talents. Father, fill us up to the maximum according to the grace upon our lives. Let none of us leave this five days with you lacking anything. Anybody who must prophesy, fill them up with the gift of prophecy. Anybody that must preach, Fill them out with the power of preaching. Anybody that must heal the sick, give them that grace. Anybody that has faith, give them the gift of faith. Anybody that has the power gift, miracles, Father, bless us with that. The music ministry, whatever area, financially, Father, bless us in the name of Jesus. Fill us up with capacity. Fill our children with giftings. Fill us up, oh God. Fill us up. Make some evangelists. Make some prophets. Make some pastors. Make some apostles. Fill us up in the name of Jesus to the full capacity so that we will be more like you and we also love you but again fill us up with satisfaction i pray for all single people i pray for all single mothers i pray for all single fathers i pray for everybody including my family that that we've lost a loved one but we are satisfied in you we've lost our mom but we are satisfied in you in the name of Jesus, may god fill you with satisfaction may god fill you with satisfaction in jesus mighty name
up. Just the voices say, fill me up, God. Fill 